How's it going, Sam? Oh, how's it going? Welcome back to another one of the Yugi Knows to Yugi Pros spin-off episode featuring Speed Dueling. Oh, yes. So, we've done the first episode. Yeah. So, we're moving on now to the second one. Yep. Good match. It was well fought. Yeah. I couldn't believe that outcome. It's, no. It <laughs> shocked me. Because we used the Seto Kaiba and Pegasus decks, yeah. our deck pool has shrunk. We now have a My Valentine deck for mm -hmm. you to choose from. You're going to pick first again because it's only fair. We have an Ashizu Ishtar deck, a Yugi Moto deck, okay. and a Joey Wheeler deck. Okay. So out of those four decks, what do you want to go for? What, um, what I want to know first, who are rivals of who? Who are rivals of who? So Yugi and Joey are best friends, but they, they compete with each other, I would say. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say Ishizu and Yugi are rivals, but they're both Millennium item holders. There's okay. like seven magical items, and yeah, they both yeah. have one. Mai and Joey, they bang, but they are... Like, <laughs> they do they do battle. They bang. They do battle, and these two have dueled each other. So, any of them could be a matchup. Do you really? know what? I think I will be... Hmm. I think I will be Joey Wheeler. Well, you know why that's funny that you've picked Joey, Sam? Why? Because Joey uses Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh god, and your son. Real world deck uses Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, and your synchro deck that I made for you on your synchro episode had Red Eyes if... Zombie Necro Dragon. <laughs> no one knew me. That uh, you know, it's not like I love you're... dragons or anything like that. You're uh, destined to wield the Red Eyes Black Dragon. But do you know the the old saying? Because there's the Red Eyes Black Dragon, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yeah. Now the Blue Eyes White Dragon is a, a monster of power. Yeah. It, it brings power. But the Red Eyes Black Dragon, it brings potential. All right. That's just what they say. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, Sam, that I'm going to duel your Joey Wheeler with Yugi Moto! <laughs> well, this is like the story of Yugi Moto to Yugi Pro. Yeah, it is. I guess best, so. Best friends. Try, uh, I'm yeah. trying to prove myself. This is, this is perfect. Should I tell you why? Because at the start of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, Joey Wheeler sucked balls at dueling. And Yugi helped teach him how to duel. And then they dueled, and then Yugi kicked the shit out of Joey in the tournament. That's <laughs> regardless, that might not happen today. You could still win. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, good luck, Sam. Let's duel. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. I'll go second, please, Sam. Okay. Draw four. Uh, One, I'm going to set. Three, Wait, four. let me get my cards first, actually. I'm going to play. I'll take. This one. Can I leave these down. like this so I can see what I can get out? Yeah, of course you can. The only reason to set them face down is to hide what you're using from your opponent, but I pretty much know what they are. Okay, this. That's your skill? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna. So. Set that. The duel's begun, your skill doesn't activate yet. It's not an immediate one, is it? Flip this card over when you activate this skill so I can use it yeah, whenever I want. Whenever you fancy, okay. Uh, I'm gonna. The same with mine then. Summon him. Alligator sword. Activate nice. this. Palomization. What does that do actually? I have no idea. During your turn, you may reveal one normal monster in your hand this turn. That monster can substitute for any one fusion material if you do. Wait, oh shit. Any one what? Monster. I thought it would substitute a monster. Um, I have to get rid of a monster out of my hand. You don't you have to get. Yeah. You don't have a normal one stat. That, that, can I see your hand again? I did pretty much just see it then. You can't use it. I was going to activate this to get rid of a token. No. Can't do that, can you? So, during your turn, you may reveal one normal monster in your hand, which it would have been this one. This turn, that monster can substitute for any one fusion material. But he is a fusion material. Yeah, you needed something else that wasn't anything. That's all right. I can, I can hang on. If, if he's still alive for the turn after and I get a monster out, yeah. that'll work. Yep. And my turn. My turn? Yep. Okay, I activate one of the special cards we got in the packs, Shard of Greed. Each time I draw a card, I can place one greed count out. When I have two greed counters on it, I can draw two cards. Mm -hmm. So is that like a Shard of Pot of Greed? Yeah, pretty much. It's a little tiny fragment of him. I'm going to Normal Summon, Legion of the Fiend Jester, which I've just realised is weaker than your Alligator Sword. That's a bit silly. I'm going to set two cards face down. Oh no. I use Legion of the Fiend Jester's ability. I contribute him to summon a spellcaster type monster, which is Dark Magician Girl. So I get Dark Magician on the field. Mm -hmm. 
If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one spell cast a normal monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can use the effect of Legion once per turn. So I also get my... I think it's going to be Dark Magician. Mm, I'll take... I'll take Dark Magician. With 2,000 attack, I attack Alligator Sword. Kuna with Chain! And what I'm actually going to do... I'm going to attach it to him. Instead of... Your, when your opponent's minus two close to cat, I have two choices. I can either change him to a defence. You can do both, I think. Can I? I think it says at the bottom. Uh, or oh, yeah, or both. So I'll change him and I'll attach it to him. So he's now at 2,000 and he's in defence. Sweet. Um, yeah, your turn. Good play, Sam. Good defence. I'm going to summon him. Time, wizard. Once per turn, you can toss a coin and call it if you are right. Destroy a monster you can control. If you are wrong, destroy many monsters you control. Don't want to do that. You don't want to do that? No, because I'm going to activate this. Palomization. He can be the one I use for. Nah. Why? Got to be a normal monster, not an <gasps> effect monster. Effect. Okay. And it's got to be in your hand as well. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh... Do you have one in your hand? Do you have a normal monster in your hand? No. Okay, no worries. Um, You've got one for that and one for that so yeah, far. Motherfucker. Um, I guess I will. You're going to use his ability. All right, then. So all I need to do is what? <laughs> Look. Once per turn, you can toss a coin and call it. If you call it right, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. If you're wrong, destroy as many monsters as you control as possible. Does that mean? And if Just you do, take damage equal to half the total attack of those monsters he had while face up. Don't worry about the details. Just call it and see what you get. What are you going to call first? Do you want heads or tails? Heads. Heads, you win. Yeah. Yeah. Damn! Um, Time Wizard's ability kicks in. Destroys all cards on my side of the field. <sighs> no. It's destroyed. I don't take damage though, do I? Do I? Just destroyed. So set that. Yeah. And attack. But you can't attack once I've done that, can I? I think you can. I'll attack with him as well then. I activate Magician's Circle. When a spellcaster monster declares an attack, each player special summons one spellcaster monster with 2,000 or less attack from their deck in attack position. So we both check our decks and special summon a spellcaster with 2,000 or less attack. Has to be in attack position. That's fine. I'll summon the blue dragon summoner. What's he got? 1,500. I've got copycat. Copycat. So he's got the same strength as him. I think so. Do you want to attack the copycat with 1,500 attack? Attack him to him. Yeah, it's up to you. Both will be destroyed. Yeah, 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 do it. Yeah. Both are destroyed, and I can add a dragon, warrior, or spellcaster, normal monster from my deck to my hand. I don't think I have one. Uh, I do. I add a rogue doll. Sweet. It's good. Good replenishability with this deck. This is much fairer. My turn? Wait. Yeah, my turn? Yeah. yeah. My turn. <laughs> First turn with Shard Agreed. That goes to Thingy. Yeah, that shooting. goes to the green. Um, I normal summon Rogue Doll mm -hmm. then I activate the spell card Wonder Wand equip only to a spellcaster type monster it gains 500 attack if okay. you control the equip monster and this card you can send bugs to draw two cards I'm okay 2100 that's got 2000 hasn't it yeah mm. I'll attack Time Wizard okay yeah, Is that fine. okay? Yeah. So you take 1600. Yep. Your turn. You're on 24 and I'm on 25. I'm going to summon Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon! But I'm not going to use this because. You don't need to summon it. If you're going to fuse them together, you can keep it in your hand. That is also true, yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, I use polymerization. Keep obviously it in my hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get rid of these two, which is going to be Alligator Sword and Baby Dragon for yeah. Alligator Sword Dragon. Yeah. That obviously dies with that, yeah. Yeah. This card can attack your opponent directly if the only face-up monster they control are Earth, Water, or Fire. It's not. It's light, so I can't. Mm. So I'll activate Stray Lands. So it means we've got two tokens. No, special two. Yeah, so... Call them your monsters if yeah. you want. So it just keeps me safe for a little bit. So you've got two defense position monsters. Yeah. My turn. 
They shot a fusion monster out, I guess. It's not going to last long, but... That's true. Uh, Shard of Green's been two turns, so I'm going to get rid of it to draw two new cards. I'm going to summon Legion of the Fiend Jester. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to attack with 1,300 on your first token. With 2,100, I'll attack your alligator sword. Take 400, your turn. You're on 2,000. So I'll do, switch that just for now with that. That's fair. Because then once it's dead, that'll go in there anyway. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Just going to add that. So again, nice. Is that it? <laughs> My turn. Fuck. I think it's game, bro. Is that game? Well, I want to end this how I want to end it. I sacrifice both my monsters to summon the Dark Magician. With Dark Magi- Oh, crap, you've got a monster. Whoops. Oh, yes! It's bought me- Hold on. I activate Thousand Knives. Target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target. I destroyed so that. That's a... And then with- no monsters left on the field. I attack with my Dark Magician. Yeah. GG. GG. <laughs> with no monsters left on the field, I summon Dark Magician. Declare direct attack. Ah, you got me. Told you I was the master. GG. GG. All right, so that's one game to you. Shit. That's one. I've just put my... Never used my skill. No, nope, never. So, <laughs> do you think you'd have been better off going with Thousand Dragon, that duel? Yes. I should have got rid of Baby Monster to go for him. Yeah, don't know why I, I didn't so. do that. Didn't even think of it, you know. Oh, no, you had, all you had Alligator Sword. No, you couldn't have. Yeah, because had... I could have got rid of Alligator Sword instead by using his power. No. Because I had Baby Dragon. I think I think it only changes the one in your hand. It can't change the one on the field, I think. So uh, you would have had the Alligator Sword in the field. Yeah. But you'd have had the Baby in the hand. Yeah, I couldn't have done it. Unlucky. I will take this skill into battle. I normal summon Rogue Doll and end my turn. Your move. Your move. You get a draw as well. Set that. Yep. I'm going to bring out Gear Freed. The Iron Knight. Yeah, I know. He can attack. It's destroyed. I take 200 damage. Oh, your turn. Uh. So that face down, it's been one turn with Shard Agreed. Oh, it has. Sorry, you did too much. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Sorry, sorry. What? I, 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 that wasn't meant to be out. How come? Oh, was that already out from yeah, last yeah, door? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, no worries. I'm going to end my turn without playing anything. I'm really hoping you don't OTK me or anything like that. I'm going to bring out Fusion Gate. This card's in the field. Return player. So I don't even need the polymerization. Be before you do anything else, just in case you are going to activate it or anything, I'm going to activate Light Force Sword. Banish one random card from your opponent's hand face down during your opponent's fourth standby phase after this card's activation, you get it back. So I don't look at it. I'm going to put it there. And then when this gets to the number four, you get it back. So it's one turn. Making That's the, right. Making the camera see that, I'll put it there. Light Force Sword, man. Did I... Oh wait, is it? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. These are the uh, exclusive cards we both got, by the way. You get one little... You get three exclusive cards in each one of the packs. And we got Shard of Green, oh. Fusion Gate, and something else. Graceful Dice! Okay. I'm also going to normal summon him, by the way. Okay. Um, Let's roll the dice, bro. There's your dice. So, roll a six. Oh, yeah, all monsters you could have gain attack and defense equal to... Equal to the result of times 100. So if you get a 6, you get 600. If you get a 1, you get 100. And everything in between. Both of them? Yep. Is that fit? There's a chance you could win. Yep, you could win. So, eight. 400 extra attack points to both of them. So You're attacking with both? Yeah. Hello, you will notice a difference <laughs> in quality because the camera died. Just an FYI. Perhaps the audio quality has changed as well. It's because we're not using the other camera, but that might not matter. So we might, we'll might go to that. this way. Right. Just to confirm, I've played Destiny Draw. Because I took 2,000 life points because I've only got 300 left, I can add any card from my deck to my hand instead of drawing. If you do flip this card over. So, what have I got in my hand? 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to take, Sam, hmm? the Dark Magician. I'm going to activate. It's a, bit, it's a bit soon. A bit soon. I'd wait a minute before we start throwing out oh, wait, school she's not out yet, is it? No, it's not out. I'm just adding it to my hand. So, Destiny Draw. Such a mess. Instead of drawing, this is what it would be like now. This card basically comes to the top of the deck. My draw! Dark Magician, my old friend. Destiny Draw goes face down. My turn. I play Shard of Greed because it's been two turns. I get two new cards. I think I didn't get something that can destroy that card, man. I normal summon. Double costing. Mm -hmm. I then activate Tribute Doll. Tribute one monster, special summon one level seven monster from your hand that can be normal summoned or set. Cannot attack this turn, unfortunately. I didn't know that. That kind of sucks. So I special summon Dark Magician. That's fine. I'll set one card face down. And because I can't attack, I end my turn. My old friend, the Dark Magician. Oh, you took that away. How many turns have that been there? So that was one. Two. This is your second turn. You know, for a six card, a six diamond dragon. One tribute. Nice. <sighs> Flame Manipulator and Masaki, the something swordsman. Nah, fuck it. Me Meteor Dragon! Didn't know you had that card in your deck, fair play. So, even though it won't work with any of them, it is still rather powerful. Yeah. Can't do nothing though. Can't do anything? Keeping him in attack? Yeah. My turn. Right. How many life points you've got left? 4,000 still. Interesting. Um, I'll attack with. <laughs> Uh, well, wait, wait for me to put that face down. This is when you should use a card like okay. that. I use Dark Magician to attack your Gear Freed, the Iron Knight. Okay. Now so you then. activate Skull Dice. Oh, yeah, Ross. All monsters your opponent currently controls lose attack and defense equal to the result of 100 times. So. Oh, well, we could have accepted that then. <laughs> you won't be able to survive, but you'll lose less damage, unfortunately. Yeah, that's you, fine. You need a 7. There's no 7 on that. 5, 2,000 attack. You only take 200. That's fine. That works well for me. There you go. Uh, your turn. My attack goes back to normal. Oh, uh, 3. You've got one more turn. I mean, it's 4th turn. 4th standby phase. So you get it back on your next one. Oh, that's dead. Keeping an attack, Meteor Dragon? No, turn into defense, sorry. Okay. My turn. See now, that's a shame. Normal summon the Stern Mystic. Uh, I activate Ruby Oku. I choose your monster and my monster. Your monster's attack is cut in half, and that monster's halved attack is added onto mine. So you lose 900 attack, and this one gains 900. So he's got 2,400 attack. Mm -hmm. With 2,400 I'll attack. That's fine. And then I'll attack with 2,500. Oops. You survive. God, I'll just on this now. His attack goes back to normal. Your turn. Your move. Your card is the fourth standby phase, so that comes back to your hand. <sighs> GG. Woohoo! I'll take that. Uh, that's a B to you. I'll take that. Yes, B for me. In what world could Joey Wheeler beat Yami Yugi? Yugi Moto. <laughs> Lucky man. I was just getting loads of field and spell cards coming out then. I wasn't really getting. Enough that was working well, for you me. You can shed one card out your deck. That is a 21 card deck if you want to get rid of something. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to get rid of a Sojourn. Got two field cards that do that sort of stuff. I know yeah, they're good to have in got, there. But... You've got uh, the Fusion Zone, whatever it's called. You might as well keep that. Uh, I'll keep my deck at 21 for now. I think I'll be alright. Oh, no. Changed my mind. I'll take that. I'm going to get rid of Straylands. I know it's a good one. Oh, it's really good one. 
I'm counting on that to come out as one, whereas two field cards are going to improve my attack and defence. You cannot summon other monsters the turn you activate this card that you can set. So, I mean, what you can do, you can activate this, you get two tokens, and you contribute them both to set a monster. So they can be used as sacrifices. So it's kind of good. And then if you're on the back foot, you get two monsters to defend yourself with. It's up to you. Didn't even activate this either. I completely forgot about it. Fuck, that would have worked as well. Last gamble. Probably would have. No, it has to be on the start of the fifth turn. Fifth turn. Right, we'll keep track of turns. Full starts. Any skills kick off? Not mine. Not yours. mine. Um, I summon Blue Dragon Summoner in attack mode and end my turn. I'm good. Can we have a chain, eh? Ha 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 ha. Well, it's getting set anyway. <laughs> He's coming out. Alligator Thord. End my turn. End your turn. Type of that will crash dragon. My turn. Uh, I don't know if you want. It's been. It's just the third turn. Third. If you ever want to know what how many turns have been. Oh no, I don't think I need to know this one. Okay. I normal summon, double costed. Yeah. You can attack. Uh, with seventeen hundred. Oh, sorry. Activate that. Again, End. wait till I declare the attack. Oh, cool. I, I can choose not to attack if you activate, activate one. Though I could choose to activate one and just connect it to him. And yeah, but you, be... what you want to do, the best way of doing things like this, is as I'm declaring the attack, I'm locked in with the attack. Oh, okay. So you yeah. boost your monster attack and I just die. Yeah. That's how you want to use the attacks anyway. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I wish I didn't know what that was. I attack with 1700. You get this one. I'm not I'm not going to do it again. That's fine. Your monster goes, attack goes up to 500. Do you want to switch anything to defense or are you quite happy with? But uh, I can do both, can't I? Yeah, just if you want to do both. both. Yeah. So, my monster attacks into that. If it's destroyed, I take 300. And he's in defence. Is You wanted him to go in defence? Yeah. Okay. Your turn. I'm going to set Sojourn. Yeah. So, yeah, that he goes up by... 2,200 attack. 2,200. Nice. 7 to 2. Cards in it to get him out to get one out. Yeah, two sacrifices. That's all right. Um, attack. Um, yeah, it's destroyed. When this is destroyed, I can add a spellcaster, warrior, or dragon. Okay. I'll add. A magician. My turn. Mm -hmm. Do you take no damage from him doing no? It was in defense. Oh, yeah. Right. I normal summon the Feral Imp. I activate Tribute Doll. Sacrifice this monster to special summon a level 7 monster from my hand. I summon the Dark Magician. Mm -hmm. I activate Thousand Knives to destroy one card on the field. I destroy your Alligator Sword. And last, but certainly not least, I activate the spell card Wonder Wand to increase his attack by 500. So 3,000. Can't attack the turn he was summoned because of this. Your turn. Oh, so I'm still up there, though. Yeah, can't attack you directly. The card's gone, though. Set that. Mm -hmm. My turn. Mm. I summon Rogue Doll. With 1,600, I attack your face down. It's destroyed. With 3,000, I attack you directly. Mm -hmm. You've got 1,000 life points left. Your turn. <sighs> okay. I'm activate his skill. Do your draw, oh, draw first. Draw first, sorry. Still going to activate. Oh, sorry, what, what's Grit's ability? Grit is, at the start of your turn, call two numbers and roll a six-sided die. If, you're, if, you roll a if you roll a number you called, your life points do not get lower than one until the end of your opponent's next turn. The skill can be only used once per duel. Okay. So it's going to save me on the next turn. Yes. So, after... What, what have you got to roll? Uh, I get to pick any two. I'm going to go two and... Two and five. So if you roll a two and five, I can't kill you next turn. <sighs> <laughs> Unlucky. That's kind of cool. That's a good, like, get a jail free card. I'm going to set that face down. Set that face down. Yeah, so I can't use that again now. Okay. Uh, your turn. My turn. Set one card face down. Attack with 3,000. 
And you've only got a thousand left. I attack with sixteen hundred. Look, Wingard can't save you, can it? No. no. It, it, attack that, with sixteen. Oh, it's a good job I attack that direct that way. Oh. He's a Oh, it's not a beast warrior. It's I attack with three thousand, yeah. Yeah. Played. God damn. It's a win for another win for Yugi Moto. This is going to work out well, isn't it? It's going to be a win each, I think, by the end of this one. I think it might be. I'm trying to work them out. These ones are all like last minute savers, these. Yeah. And they're not they're not very good skill cards, I wouldn't have thought. Like, they work, like, I, it's all based on luck. Duel begins. My skill activates. Power of Dark. My Power of Dark goes straight to my field zone. All spellcasters and fiends gain 200 attack and defense. I don't draw since I'm going first. I normal summon Rogue Doll. Your turn. Simple move. And set this. Yep. Oh, you get a draw as well. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bring him out. Find me a play to here. Activate Palamorization. Yeah. Palamorization. Um, you can show me a normal monster. It's an effect monster. Oh, oh shit. I did it the wrong way around again. You can do that. You can swap them around if you want. Do you want the time wizard on the field? Yeah. Put the time. I, I thought. Put the time wizard on the field. So then I have to. Have... You've normal summoned time wizard. Yeah. So can't do. Oh, it. you don't even need to summon that. Keep that in your hand. Yes. No, because my plan was going to be. I thought I had to have because it substitutes one. So that's why I was bringing time wizard, uh, flame manipulator out. Because it's subs- I have to get rid of one that's getting. Do you have polymerization though? I don't think. Oh, you do. No, you do. Sorry, it just substitutes. Oh, you do. It... Yeah, that that matter. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's all right. I read it wrong. Right, we'll cut all that. Your turn, Sam. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm gonna set this. Yep. Uh, uh... I have sixteen, eighteen hundred attack. Sorry, because the power of dark spellcasters and fiends get boosts. Set that as well. Yep. I'm going to bring out set that. Yep. Yep. My turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah your turn. Alright then. Alrighty then. Um, 1,800 attack. I attack. That's fine. Remember your card, Sam. Attack that. Flip top slow. Then you attacked him. So that activates. With that kunai with chainsaw, because your monster was face down, yes. you can only switch my monster defence. You won't be able to increase its attack. But can I do that when I flip him? Huh? Can I do that when I flip him? Nah, I think you'll miss it. So I'll do it. Just attack. He dies. Yeah? That's fine. Yeah. Your turn. I'd rather that happen than lose the actual ability of that. Mm. Bring him out. Okay. <laughs> you're going to yeah. time magic. There's your coin, you call him heads or tails this time. There we go, heads. Heads again. Oh, go on. Yes! <laughs> no way, uh, it's destroyed. Attack with 500. I take 500 damage, <laughs> i got 3,500 left. My turn. Mm, I'm going to set this fired face down. That's all I can do, your turn. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Not a good position for me. Gonna bring great. Here, freed the Iron Knight. I'm gonna attack with Time Wizard first. Time Wizard first. I activate Magician's Circle. When a spellcaster monster declares an attack, each player special summons a spellcaster with 2,000 or less attack from their decks in attack position. 2,000 or less attack. Does he get to stay out? Yeah. I'm going to get Blue Dragon Summoner. That's fine. Spell a copycat. So he's got the same as so, you. So you've done 200 more damage to me, I've just realised. Alright. Because Power of Dark boosting your time wizard. Oh, yeah. And it's going to boost this bench 200. But I'm guessing you use copycat to have 1500 as well? Yeah, yeah. So they've both got 17. So, um... Time Wizard declared an attack. I have a new monster, so it's still Time Wizard's attack. Do you want to attack your monster or stop attacking with Time Wizard? 
Uh, stop attacking with him, so obviously. So, he's lost his attack now. You've got these two guys still. So, he'll attack him. I lose 100 life points, but I get to add a card from my deck to my hand. I'll take Dark Magician. Okay. And then, Copycat. He cat. attacks, yeah. I lose 1,700. Does he get to keep 1,700? Even though yours is dead now. Um... Yeah, it stays at that. Oh, it stays at 17. Yep, Emma's turn. It's your turn. It's my turn. I thought I had the other skill, no worries. I draw. Oh god, no. Not like this. I activate Shard of Greed. <sighs> your turn. I mean, you got much to risk, so let's just have a go with Dice Typhoon. Dice Foon? Just doing this for a laugh, really, right? Two. two. What does the two get you? Uh, destroy one spell or trap on the field. Get Shard it. of Greed. Yep. It's destroyed. Don't matter. Really, so attack with all three. Attack with all three. That is game. I had <laughs> four spells that I couldn't use because I didn't have a monster. Finally won one with this deck. Well done. So that's one one round two. So our next winner gets a bead. I'll go second, please. You can go first. Yep. Okay, my turn. My turn. Set this guy face down. Mm -hmm. And this guy face down. Yep. Your turn. Attack. It's... Oh, no, he doesn't get affected by that. I don't know. How come? Because he's not a beast warrior. Oh. It has to be a beast warrior monsters. All warrior. Oh, All warrior. Yeah, yeah, sorry, beast, yeah. So sorry. he's got 2,000 attack. Yeah. Uh, it's destroyed, but I get to add a normal spellcaster. The rogue doll. My turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My turn. Set this face down. Your turn. I'm worth doing it. Um, set that. Yeah. And attack. In fact, bring him out as well. Time wizard. Attack with him. 2000. Yep. It's destroyed. Yeah, and that's it. And I know you have certain spell cards that work when I attack you with the spell ah, cast. I'm learning. I'm going to normal summon the Fiend's Jester. Okay. And I am going to attack Time Wizard. 13. Dead? Yeah, dead. You take 800. Your turn. I wish I should have bought him out and gave it the way around. Oh, well. You've got 3200 left. Attack? I take 700. Oh. Your turn. Bring him out. Nice. Does he count as a beast warrior? Beast. Nah, just a beast. Just a beast. It says beast warrior on him, though. Um, then going to... Oh, it counts as a normal summon. Also going to... Oh, fuck. No, I'm not. <laughs> so close. I'm going to attack with alligator sword. I lose 1,500 life points. And attack with... Iron Knight. Iron Knight attacking as well? Yeah. That's game. We've won another bead! I was going to attach that, ah. but I remembered his thing, so I was getting ready yeah, to... Yeah, you don't like to attach it to him. I was getting ready to kill him off. Yeah. For him. Ah. But then I realised I couldn't do that, and I wouldn't have had that, so he'd have been weaker than him anyway. I had amazing oh, cards. That's a bead. There's another bead. Ah. No, he's going to win. He's going to win again. <laughs> okay. Rock, paper, scissors. A second. Second. One, two, three, four. I choose this skill. It's my skill for the battle. We're keeping the same one. Mm -hmm. Nice. Set that. Set this. Your turn. Oh, hang on. Does this activate? I activate final draw during my main phase. So each turn I get to put a counter on it. And when it has three counters, I can pull any card from my deck. To my hand. Did your main page can place count on this skill? There you go. One counter. Okay. Full move. Set that. Set that. Final draw. Set that. Yep. And. Attack. Uh, you have attacked into my Legion the Fiend Jester with 1,500 defence. You take 
400 damage. It's my main phase, so I will place another counter on final draw. I will normal summon double costin. Yes. Switch my Legion the Fiend Jester into attack mode with 1300. No, with 1700, I'll attack Masaki the Legendary Swordsman. School dice. There you go. You need a six. Oh, Three. Fuck. Uh, I go down to 1400 to take. 300. 300 off. And then with 1000 attack, I attack, you take 1000, your turn. Yeah. That's it. No monsters. I can't activate that. Alright. My turn. (laughs) Dropped everything. (laughs) Uh, My main phase, I place a third Destiny final draw counter. Yeah. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to activate my final draw skills ability. Okay. So by getting rid of my three counters, I can add any card from my deck to my hand. Okay. Can't counter this because it's a skill. That's fine. I'm gonna I ain't got a counter card for a spell card. The Dark Magician. Oh, of course. Yeah. If I don't win this turn, Sam, I lose, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Slaying in her. This, this exact turn you if have... If I don't win this turn... At the end of the turn, you use this skill, you lose the duel. Oh! So I have to win oh. right now. <laughs> I thought I'd risk it all. Oh no! I'm gonna summon Legion the Fiend Jester. I was gonna summon Dark Magician, but your back row's got me worried. I attack with 13. I attack with 13. <laughs> oh, but anyway, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't need to use that, but. Ah. Uh, okay, no. You haven't got your red eyes yet? Yeah, actually. Nope. I got butt nutted the whole way through. Unlucky bro. Final draw is scary, man. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> so what, if you didn't win that round then, that was it for you? Yep. If you'd have had, like, negate attack or something, I'd have lost. So I think that means I might not use that one again. <laughs> You'll go first. Your move. Bring him out. Okay. Uh, yeah, your turn. So far, I think your deck would be a good... Balanced deck against the first one I played as. Oh, the Kyber versus this one. Mm. Yeah, I think you might be right. Well, this one's good, but it just doesn't feel very strong. Like... And my turn. Your turn. I think you you haven't got your red eyes out yet, or any of your fusions really. I think that's no. something you should try and work towards. Problem is, they're quite weak. Yeah, they are. They're not the best. Thousand Dragons probably your best one. Yeah, it is because these two are the same as him. So it'd be the point in me fusioning him with for anything, like by using powers. Yeah. Oh no, it's not. You don't use that one for that one. It's the other guy. No, no, but oh. with one of these. Yeah. I, I could. Um. Oh shit. Yes, your turn. You'll draw. Uh, are you sure I didn't just draw? How many cards you get in hand? One, two, four. three, four. Yeah, you drew. I have drew. Yeah. Yeah. She went first. Yeah, you went. F- you had four. Four, then had three. Then yeah, yeah. Set that. Mm-hmm. Get him out. Yep. Attack with both. I take a whopping fifteen hundred and eighteen hundred. Seven hundred life points left. Okay. My turn. Yeah. I play my skill card, Destiny Draw, because I've taken two thousand or more damage. I can add one card from my deck to my hand instead of conducting my draw. Just- Consult what cards I have in my hand at the moment. Oh, let me just double check again. Okay. I'm going to take... No, fuck no, I don't. Oh, I don't. I'm going to take Legion the Fiend Jester, I think. Yes. I think that's an alright move. I normal summon Legion the Fiend Jester. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I use Legion the Fiend Jester's ability. I contribute a face up attack position spellcaster monster to normal summon this turn for another spellcaster. I choose Dark Magician Girl. Okay. When Legion the Fiend Jester goes to the graveyard, I can add one spellcaster normal monster from my deck to my hand. Deck or graveyard to my hand, I choose Rogue Doll. Oh, woof. Woof. Um, I attack with 2000 on Give It the Iron Knight. Take 200 damage, your turn. Okay. Legion. I hope I'm using Legion's ability right. I think so. 
Yeah, you contribute some. Oh, it has to be in face perception. Okay. Yeah, it's like stray lambs. Stray lambs. Two tokens. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. End my turn. That's it? Yeah. You're going to leave your alligator swords attack? Is that okay? My turn. So I don't take damage. If it's in defense, you don't take damage. So I always thought it was only if it was face down for some reason. No, no. no. Just hide in it. Um, I'll normal summon double costing. Mm-hmm. Set one card face down. Mm-hmm. I'll attack double costing. Destroy this. And damage you'll destroy one of your counters. Your turn. You've got one more sheep token left. Don't matter. Set that. Yeah. Activate dice frame. Two, three, four will destroy one spell or trap. Five will destroy two. And then if you get the last one, you got to take a thousand damage. Five would be nice. Five would be nice. Oh. Four. That's a destruction, isn't it? Yeah, so I get to get rid of one. This one? Yeah. Uh, you destroyed Magician's Circle. Let's okay. go. Right, Ted? Yes. Right. I use the ability of my double custom. It is treated as two tributes for a dark monster, so I can summon Dark Magician with just one sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's I have so close. Thousand knives because I have a Dark Magician. I can destroy one card on the field. I target this one and destroy it. Well, at least I'm going to survive a turn. What makes you think there? What do you mean? What makes you think you're going to survive a turn? I've got three eight. Yeah, and this makes four. Ah, oh, damn. Fair enough. <laughs> It's going to be a clutch. Uh, I didn't see that. Uh, attack with 2,000. Yeah, that's attack with 2,500. Yes. Your turn. Oh. Hold on. I missed the uh, the token. You've got 1,300 left. I mean, I've only got 700. If you got a Red Eyes Black Dragon out and attacked into my Dark Magician Girl, you could win. I'm guessing not, though. This is not a very good death, man. Oh, well, you know how I felt last all with a Pegasus one. It just feels like I need to take a few things out. Set that. Yep. I don't think this will save me even, not even close. Um, it might save me. Well, it's going to be if dated though. Highly dated. In fact, no, it won't. Button, button. Yeah. I've lost. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I activate Dark Magic Attack. If you control Dark Magician, destroy all spell and traps your opponent controls. Destroy, uh-huh. destroy that. Yeah, yeah. GG. It's just that. Woo-hoo. It wouldn't have saved me anyway. 600 off either of them still with the finish man. Right, so that was the second match, uh, week two. This time, I was playing with the Yugimoto deck, and which I was, uh, I was very, very happy to win with. And you were playing with... Joey Wheeler. Which, I think it was really poetic. Joey Wheeler, the sort of apprentice to Yugimoto. They did do battle eventually, but Yugi wrecked him. It's almost like fate happening again. Yeah, I did get wrecked, and I didn't enjoy playing with it either. But I, I mean, think... you, got, you got a match win, though. Yeah, I did, I did to be fair. But Are you, Is it because you're just comparing it to the one that you played last week with the, the set of Kyber deck? Well, my problem is with this one was, I know it's still only small, and you've got more chance of everything coming out, but because it's so small, and it didn't have an... I think you could make this into a good competitive one, but it was weak for one. Like, the monsters compared to yours, like they yeah. just weren't matching up, man. So and... the thing was... I was consistently getting out my Dark Magician. You never got out your Red Eyes this, Black Dragon. I tell you what, this once. needs this needs a card to help me send something from my hand to my grave. Yeah. Because I had the card that got it from my grave back, the Red Eyes Dragon Spirit. Oh, Red, yeah. So all I needed was a card just to send it from my hand to the grave. Does that have... Can I have a quick look through that? Does that have nothing that can help you get to the grave? No. As far as I could see, I, well, I, I didn't get anything out that would have let me do it anyway. So it was actually pointless having that card in there, really. I should have chopped it out. Yeah, you know what, Sam? Yeah, Sam's just brought up a fantastic point. Red Eyes Spirit is best used if you can send your big dragon to the graveyard, well, could... Red Eyes to the grave and special something back. Yeah. But this has says, basically, you need to get your Red Eyes out first, yeah, yeah, yeah. then get it destroyed, and then bring it back, which is a, a high price. And you don't even have... I think if you had one of the fusions for Red Eyes Black Skull yeah, Dragon, yeah, yeah, yeah. that could have helped you, but... Nothing. I'm nothing sorry, man. Here's a wound. Tough, tough titties. Now, <laughs> with uh, with my skills, I was quite happy with mine. Uh, I didn't really use the field spell because Sam had some spellcasters in his decks and I didn't want him benefit off it. But was it called Final Draw and Destiny Draw? Destiny Draw was really good because if you took 2,000 damage, you could take something from your deck. But the problem with that was sometimes it wouldn't take 2,000 damage, but like 1,900 or less. Yeah. So that's a shame. But Final Draw... Is a bit too risky. Oh, I was so trying to bait <laughs> you in on that last one, though. If I don't win the turn, I add the card to my deck. 
I lose. Yeah. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Mine, mine were a little bit like they... that. I had two cards that after five turns, I could activate it and take myself down to... Oh, Grit. Yeah. So, grit, Grit's good trying to keep yourself in the game. You can't go below one life point. I'd like to have seen you at one life point. I don't point. know why I didn't use cool. it, to be honest. What does Last Gamble do? Uh, at the start of your fifth turn, during your main phase, you can reduce your life points to 100 and discard two cards from your hand. Ah, there's your discard, Sam. Last Gamble. At the start of your fifth turn, after this skill, count both players' turns, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. During your main phase, you can reduce your life points to 100 and discard two cards from your hand. Roll a six-sided die and draw cards equal to the results. That would have been oh. awesome. Get rid of a red eyes. I didn't read it get properly. rid of something else. Yeah. Roll a six-sided die. If you got a six, you get six new cards. Yeah, that would have worked. Ooh, last gamble. Damn. But yeah. Um, so I know we said this last week, but what did you think of speed dueling this week? Did I you, loved you still it, man. Enjoying it? Yeah, fully. I think it's a good way to go. It's quick. It's easy, and it, like it sort of took it a new. It's like a new generation of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Using old. Old technology of it, like, do you know what I mean? Well, the old, like, you know what I mean? Speed dueling is good for old players that want a bit of simplicity. They want to go back to, like, basics. Yeah. Or brand new players that just want to get used to the game before the complex mechanics get added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, thank you, Sam. Thank you very much for joining us. I had fun dueling, yeah. So, you've had a win last week. You've had a win this week. I had a win this week. We've got one more week left. What are we on next week? We're on the Femme Fatales. Yeah. You have my Valentine, the Amazon S slash Harpy deck. Yeah, yeah. And I have a Shizu Ishtar with her Gravekeeper's deck. And I actually played some Gravekeepers back in the day, so I think this will be good. So, yeah. I'll see you next time, then, Sam. (laughs) See you uh, you next week. (laughs) See you next week. Bye. Thank you.